Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In front of me we have the 2023 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. This is the top of the line truck from Toyota. Give you guys a quick little walk around. This has a TRD Pro suspension and lift kit on 15 inch BBS rims. Very nice with off-road tires. As you guys can see the red suspension. We have our TRD Pro on the hood. They're not functional air vents, they're just for looks, but still a nice touch. We have our massive mirrors. We have Toyota 2.5 safety, so it has all the cameras all the way around. I absolutely love these rims. I'll show you guys the suspension. We have our exhaust pipes here on the left side with TRD Pro embedded on them. It's a nice little sporty touch. We have TRD Pro stamped into the, the tailgate. It's really nice, so it's not a sticker. We have this camo effect matching the seats. This techno camo on the bumper. More at the, at the top. We have Toyota right there. We have three brake lights up at the top. I absolutely love these taillights and how they curve around the truck and it's not boxy. We have this aerodynamic curvature on the bed, allowing for improved airflow and it gives a good look. Something this truck doesn't have is the side rail. It's really hard to get in and out of this truck we have more of the camo on the wheel arch. So we have a uh, camo vibe going around the entire truck. We have the massive Toyota logo on the front. Letting everyone know this is a TRD Pro. We have a Tundra right there. Our radar control is that unit right there. The grill is massive, so it lets a lot of air in for cooling. It's also practical for looks. Something that I want to tell you guys is, all right, you're seeing the light bar at the bottom right there. We have two small little light bars right there. Unfortunately, in Canada, I cannot turn those light bars on. And the reason why is it's too bright, it's legal. But Toyota ships the cars with the light bars anyway. We have more cameras right there. One camera up there. So one here, two there, and two in the back bed. They all stitch it together for the 360 camera. These are the headlights. We have beautiful four projectors. So let's say you're driving at night and you see a car coming across from you. The, the projectors move away from the direction of the car that's oncoming. So you don't blind the person. They move up and down, very nice. We have our daytime running LED wrapping around. It has a little boxy look to it, but also curves out the end. Very nice. We have our orange fog lamps right here, matching the one on the front grill. In 
In today's video, we have the 2023 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. As you guys can see, you have the massive infotainment display, 14 inches. You have the Toyota badge right there. The red accent along the side. Very nice, feels like a Lexus in here. Everything's premium. We have the TRD start stop right there. What do you guys think? Truck of the year? I absolutely love this. At the beginning, I thought the display would be too big, but I think 14 inches is the perfect size for a truck. It's kind of giving me a Model Y, Model 3 vibe, which is really good. We have our digital gauge cluster. So I'm averaging around 14.9 liters per 100 kilometers with this. This is a V6 turbo with an hybrid electric engine. So not bad, not the best. So it's pretty good. The I4 standing for the turbo and the Max standing for the battery life and the electric motor that you use at low speeds. It's a very nice truck guys. I prefer this over the Ford Tremor. On the left side, we have our volume controls our menu options like that. We can toggle between them. Navigation, our trip, our Toyota Safety 2.5. We have lane keep assist, collision monitoring system, your parking sensors, all that good stuff. Our vehicle settings, all that good stuff. And no messages. If you were to have a problem with the car, you would get a message. We have no messages. Yeah, that is that side of the wheel. On the right side, we have our lane keep assist, cruise control. We have different modes. The modes toggles between your radio, Bluetooth devices, your Apple CarPlay, all of that. Very nice. So something that I want to tell you guys about this car is right now the engine is very quiet. As you guys can see, you can't really hear anything. But as soon as you stay for, let's say, five minutes in the car, the engine starts ramping up. And the reason why it ramps up while you're in park is so it can charge up the battery. So sometimes it's very quiet in here. Sometimes you hear the engine revving up, but that's just to charge up the battery. Very normal. So we have our different drive modes here. We have two-wheel drive, four-wheel high, four-wheel low. Very easy to use. A drive mode selector, so we click this. And the minute we turn the wheel, we have our mode selector. So we have sport mode. Sport mode is really good if you're trying to floor this car. You get very fast acceleration. Where with Eco, it's very slow, gradual pull. It's lowering the RPMs a bit, but with normal, it's your average truck feel. I feel like eco is the best for this in today's economy. We'll keep it in eco mode for now. I like the little diagram that it puts with the truck. Showing, shows the suspension, the engine, the transmission right there. I love that. We're in eco right now, of course. So we have our drive mode selector. We have the crawl mode, tow haul. If you're going to be pulling anything with this truck. Something that I love is the gear lever. And the reason why I love it is with these new modern trucks, you have your gear lever here as like an option to change the gear. I don't like the, the wheel gear thing. I like the physical one, the, the old school way. Cause you feel like the resistance of each gear. I feel more engaged with the car with this gear lever. Also has manual mode, but you don't get power shifters. Not bad. We have wireless charging. Something that I love about this wireless charging pad is if you put your phone down and you're driving, it'll give you a notification saying, take off your case. There's something in the way. We cannot wirelessly charge your phone. It's very nice. More storage right there. Two cup holders. Center console, plenty of room. USB-C, got your coin storage. Yeah, red stitching matching 
the seats on the headrest. You have the TRD Pro stitch into the back seat. You have this techno camo effect matching the exterior. Very sporty. These feel like Range Rover seats, in my opinion. Also, the back gets the camo effect. And that red stitching also pops with the Toyota logo right there. This car comes with 12 JBL speakers around the car. Amazing sound. Top is hard plastic, but the center console area is also in that material. The dash has the soft material. Very nice. Gets the job done. Our air vents fit into the 14 inch infotainment display. So very thin bezels, which I really like. Can't really go wrong with this display. I feel like it's the best in the game right now with Fords. It's okay, but then once you see this, it's like it's a different, it's a different ballpark. So we have Apple CarPlay, navigation. You have to subscribe if you want to use the navigation built into this truck. Not the biggest fan of subscription-based services these days, but it's there. We have our phone. We're not connected right now. Our fuel consumption. We're averaging right now on the tank that we have. 433 kilometers when we picked up this truck from Toyota Canada. We had about 686 kilometers on a full tank. Not bad. Our settings, we have our general display, sound media. You tune your speakers right there, vehicle customization, the climate, door controls if you want the lights on, if you want the doors to lock the minute you walk away. All that good stuff. You can update the car, apps, as remote connect, so you can download an app on your phone and start up the car with the click of a button. It's pretty much the infotainment display for you guys. It's nothing too crazy. All you can really do with this is media, like I want to say, and Apple CarPlay. But it's very responsive, no delay. Overall, I love this car so much. It feels like a Lexus. All the buttons here feel premium. We have our climate controls. We have heated and cooled seats. Very nice. And they're ventilated, so perfect for a summer night. Yep, oh, that feels amazing. Very nice. At the bottom we have our camera view, so this car has five cameras stitching all of the pictures together, giving you this bird's eye view. It's very nice for tight parking spots or if you have a trailer. Show you guys that. Gives you a top view. There's no lines right here, so you can customize the color of the car. So now it's red. It's a small little Easter egg, but hey, it's nice. I feel like this the cameras aren't the best quality, but it takes advantage of the technology and stitching it together, making it easier to park. But this truck is big. Let's get out of that. We have traction control. We have our hazards, our, di our differential lock right there. The steering wheel feels very light, very premium. We have red leather accent at the top. More red stitching on the door panel. So the red stitching theme goes a long way in this car. More red at the bottom. Something that I want to note in this car is the light bar, the TRD Pro. This car comes with three light bars, one full one at the bottom of the Toyota logo and two mini ones, but it's illegal in Canada. So 
they have to turn it off at the factory, but it, the car comes with it. Technically, you can take it to a shop and they'll wire it in for you, but you'll probably get a ticket on the road. That's That sucks, but that's rules. We have heated steering wheel. Very nice. We have the 120 volt, the power socket in the back of the truck, in the bed. I'll turn that on. We have our high beam. We have our lights for the bed in the back. Gas cap. We have the safety system, the sensors in the back so it doesn't beep at you while you're backing up your truck into the trailer. All these good stuff. Very premium. We have our sunroof. Massive. And something that I love is the button that you press right here closes the shade. But once the shade closes, as you guys can see, I feel like it gets dark in here. You want to have this open so it feels more roomy. Like right now it feels a little dark, but you want to have it open so it lets more light in. It just feels more roomy for like a tall person in the back. If you have your friends. It's a nice little touch. Now we'll show you guys the back seats. Show you guys the leg room. This is the view of the back. We have more of that camo finish. More red stitching. The headrest is red stitching also. Very nice. So these seats do go up if you were to put something on here, but that's your fuse box. Very nice. Let's take a seat. I am 5'9", plenty of legroom. We have our USB-C and our power socket right here. More storage. Two massive cup holders, perfect for iced coffees. Air vents right here. Overall, plenty of leg room. A grip here to get in and out. As you guys can see, the sunroof lets a lot of light in, so it's very roomy. Here's practical for a tall family. That's the view that you would have from the front. the bed it's your average bed for a toyota nothing commercialized i want to say what do you guys think is this truck of the year or would you guys buy a ford hands down i'm buying this over a ford So this is the engine of the Tundra, the Charity Pro, has the iForce Max engine, so this is a hybrid. This is a V6 with a turbo paired to electric motor. As you guys can see, that is the hybrid system. All the cables running around. So this produces around 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. Max towing capacity is 5,067 kilograms. Very fuel-efficient engine. Massive grill for allowing better cooling. So the base Toyota, Toyotas come with just the V6 with the turbo and the highest trim, that one right now has the, the hybrid system. Not a plug-in, because sometimes you'll hear the engine rev up a little higher than usual. 
That means it's charging up the battery. So this being the TRD Pro, it also comes with the TRD Pro skid plate. As you guys can see, protect the engine from rocks and debris. It's a nice little touch. This is the driving view, guys. Plenty of clearance. I absolutely love the view. So a lot of visibility, as you guys can see. So every bump that I go over, it feels like nothing in this truck. The suspension upgrade in the TRD Pro package helps out a lot. I love how the engine growls when you step down on the pedal. Love it. What do you guys think? Is this truck of the year or would you guys be buying a Ford F-150? So this competes with the Tremor honestly love this more than the Fords. Apple CarPlay on right now. Full visibility.